Yo, 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 what is going on? YouTube, Renegade here, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to change your IP address using the uh, a Netgear router, and I'm also going to be telling you guys how to check that if you got DDoSed or IP flooded, and it's really, really easy, so let's just get right into it. So I use Google Chrome, so I'm going to load up Google Chrome, uh, and what you're going to do is in the address bar, you're going to type in 192.168.1.1. And then for the username, it's just admin, unless you obviously changed it. And the password is just password. So you're going to want to type that in. Um, and then you're going to hit enter. So now you're on the Netgear website, or the Netgear router login, basically. And this, you can do it on any computer that you have in your house. It doesn't have to be your desktop. It could be your laptop. Anything that's hooked up to your Netgear router. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your basic settings. Uh, when you click your basic settings, you're going to see this screen right here. So Basically, all you have to do is change your MAC address. Okay, so this is kind of where it gets complicated. So what you're going to end up doing is right here where it says router MAC address. There's a default, and then there's a use this MAC address. Now, mine is on the default. So let's just say I got hit offline right now. So if I got hit offline and someone IP flooded me or someone got my IP address and I want to change it. So I'm going to click on use this MAC address instead of the default one, and then I'm going to click apply. Now it's gonna update the settings. So while while it's doing this, I'll tell you guys exactly what to do. Once this updates all the way to this and it brings you to the next screen, which is the same screen that was on it was on before, you're gonna wanna unplug your modem for 10 seconds. Leave your router plugged in. So all you do is unplug your modem for 10 seconds, plug it back in after 10 seconds, then you're gonna wanna unplug your router for 10 seconds and then plug it back in. Uh, and obviously leave your modem on when you when you unplug your router uh, You know, it's really really easy So once you do that and you update this right here that it's going on you basically get a new IP address um, It's really really easy and that's the pretty much the quickest way to change your IP I mean I I used to get hit offline IP flooded DDoS all the time and it basically see like right here it just changed my MAC address and you could see that I'm still logged in the internet. It still works. You can see the Twitter. Um, so that's really how you change your IP. It's super easy. And make sure you ha you have to reset your modem and your router, though, to change it. Uh, and this is also how to tell if you're getting IP flooded or if you're getting DDoS attacked and you want to know for sure. So you go to your logs, and then there is all this gibberish. I don't think I really got... Oh, wow, I did get DDoS. Okay. So there's a DOS attack right here. And this is where it's coming from. So you can type this IP address. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to type in find location by IP address. Type that into Google. And oh, yeah. So I, cha I changed my. I'm going to go back and change this real quick because. Nobody hit me offline, so I'm going to I'm going to update this real quick. But let's let's take a moment to update this. Yeah, because this isn't even working. Um Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I just got disconnected from Xbox Live too, but it's all good. So, I'm going to update this back to the normal settings. And yeah, you're supposed to the reason I I'm not connected to the internet right now is cuz I I didn't restart my modem and my router. You have you have to make sure you restart your modem and your router. So I'm going to make sure that this is updated and I might as well just show you guys basically I can I can just unplug my modem and my router before Come on Oh there we go Okay So um you're going to want to type in the IP address paste look up IP address uh, and then you can see that they're from India. Now, this obviously isn't the person that was IP flooding me. It's um, They're using a VPN, so it's basically saying that they're from India, the, and then the, it's not really where they're from. But some people don't use a VPN, so if you, if you copy and paste that IP address under your logs, you can definitely tell, um, again, dose attack, this IP right here. So it's pretty easy, guys. And hopefully you enjoy this video and hopefully give a like if, you know, you changed your IP after this or if it's really easy. Again, it only takes like 30 seconds. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'm out, guys. Peace.